Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. I've just finally had a week where I don't really, I mean, I have plans, but nothing that's gonna take up my week, basically. So I thought I would get back in the swing of things and film a video, especially because I have been doing some shopping in the past couple of weeks. Basically, I've just accumulated everything that's new um, behind me and on the floor. But the first couple things are from Burberry, and these are really exciting. Basically, um, I finally got my name changed um, officially, and it's documented. Stokes is my dad's surname, so that's why I went by that name. <clears throat> so long story short, I've gone by the name one in Stokes my entire life, at least since I was six months. Well, at least since I was adopted, basically. But um, I never changed my birth name to my new name. I had kept it my birth name um, on my passport etc and all my documents because it was a huge complication with changing my name the Taiwanese government wouldn't allow it etc etc now that I'm of age I'm old enough <laughs> um, now that I'm of age and old enough to make my own decisions and I live in a different country anyway um, I wanted to finally like physically change my name permanently um, to 11 Stokes so now I am officially a one-one stokes so the evening that i got my name changed i was wandering burberry i was looking for some gifts and i came across these which are already out of the box i'm wearing them already they are these initials basically um i will do a close-up and obviously i got um a w and an s for my initials um Basically, I didn't want to go too crazy with buying something so extravagant for the name change just because, like I said, I have been using one in Stokes my entire life, so I monogram everything WS anyway already, so it's not like it's new to me, but I just wanted to get something to commemorate the day, and I thought this was really cute and the right price point for me to spend um, on that kind of memory. I will link them down below so you guys can check them out if you want. They aren't actually necklace pendants, they I think are like pendants for a scarf that they have, a certain style of scarf, and you can use them as bag charms as well, but I'm using them as um, necklace pendants. So I just took a chain from um, another necklace that I had and put both of them on, and I've been wearing them every single day, whether they're on show or tucked behind. I've just been really happy about that, so that's exciting, and yeah, these are the boxes that they came in, and they do come in, um, they do have a little dust bag. It's a very grand box for a little pendant. I was like, whoa, huge packaging. Anyways, so that's the first thing. Um, the second thing I'm going to share half of, basically, because behind me, I have actually already picked out my New Year's Eve outfit, um, but I don't want to share that quite yet. I will, however, share the accessory that I will be wearing with the dress. So the dress, I think you can see, is by Miu Miu. Um, well, you can see by the color of the of the bag, um, of the dust bag, but I also got an accessory to go with it, and I thought I'd at least share this, because the price point was so good, in my opinion, for, like, costume jewelry compared to Gucci, um, but also I think it's just such a cool, like, piece to have in the collection. I actually love looking at headpieces, I think they make such a statement on outfits and stuff. I have a couple from Gucci and they're gorgeous, but the prices are just so extortionate and honestly, I don't, it's not like I wear it all the time or wear it enough to, like, to justify the price sometimes, so I do feel guilty, but when the lady told me the cost of this one, I was like, oh my god, that's so worth it. Um, I will admit it's not as, you know, it's not as intricate, even though this is quite intricate, it's not as, like, gr like you know, colorful and, like, detailed and, like, crazy as the Gucci ones, but it's still so pretty and I love it, so they're just, like, these crystals, wait, okay, I can't, it's not going to focus, so I'm just going to do a close-up of it, but they're just these crystals that drop, um, down the forehead here, and then just, like, a little kind of tiara thing going around. Okay, so it looks like something like this on me right now. Obviously, my hair won't be like this um, for New Year's Eve. I'm going to do something to it. Actually, what the lady did was, in the store, she actually, like, kind of did something to the back of my hair and then just kind of tucked it into the band. So, obviously, like, I'll show you there's a band at the back of this. Um, and she just tucked my hair in it, and it just kind of made, like, this really cool, like, bun at the back of my head, if that makes sense. Um, but kind of, like, a long bun. It looked really cool, like, the bun... Um, thing so I can try that but I'll play around with it. I really hope I can find this online so I can link it down below um, I haven't actually checked yet because I usually do all like the searching for them online after I film But um, yeah, I really hope they do have it because I really really like this and they had I don't know Miu Miu actually has some really cool jewelry um, and they're just so much more affordable than Gucci like Yeah 
Next is a scarf from Liberty. Um, well, I got a Liberty, but it's by Acne Studio, and it's their very coveted, um, what is it, like the machine wash label kind of print. So it's got the machine wash label um, stuff printed on it. Obviously I liked it because it's got that like kind of how to take care um, tag on it, printed on it. And um, honestly I don't have very much to say about this. This is some crazy colors. They have this in loads of different color combinations. This is the one that I saw and I like the colors. I don't mind. It's very autumnal even though it's going to be winter really soon. It says Acne Studio Stockholm made in Italy 100% um, woven. Dry clean only, something in French, something in Chinese. I can't read Chinese, guys. I know I'm like a fail Asian, whatever. Um, and then it says, don't put in the washer. And what? It says you can iron it or steam. I'm sure that means steaming it. I don't know, guys. I never read these labels. I never really care to read these labels. I'm just like, that looks about right. <laughs> okay, so before I embarrass myself some more, I'm going to stop trying to figure out what some of these symbols are. I should actually show you guys how big this is. Sometimes I forget to like fully show things properly. Um, but yeah, it's just like a nice full scarf and oh, it's gonna keep me very warm. This is probably this is probably not the look, but you know, once you fix it up. Um, actually one of my friends, Kyle, he really wants one too, so he's eyeing it and I totally think he should get it. So I have another thing from Burberry that I recently purchased and it is these pair of pants. At the Burberry store right now there's like a whole section in the men's and women's um, part um, of this print basically like on freaking everything like trench coats, different types of pants, suits, shirts, like everything, t-shirts, sweaters. Obviously I've always been a fan of the Burberry print, um, it's very like iconic and it's very recognizable um, and I actually realized I don't own any clothing pieces with this um, design on it. I do own this scarf which I think is very classic and a lot of people do own that um, but I thought that having that print on a pair of pants would be really cool too. It's like a pop of pattern and color. I love wearing pattern pants. Um, it's often, it's quite hard, for, although it's a little hard for me to find patterns on pants that I do like. I mean with that said I actually do have another pair of pattern pants that I'm going to share but yeah I don't often find pattern pants I like. The patterns generally are like too much or like just not my style or I think it's a bit tacky or I don't know. I'm just very like particular. It's not even like a certain style that I like or like a certain pattern that I like. It's just like I, when I see it I know if I like it or not kind of thing. And this I like and I had a really fun time um, doing a little shoot with my friends. Um, we did like a little Berber inspired shoot and that was fun. Um, I felt a little bit, well, we all felt a little bit like loserish, a bit poserish. Not poserish, because like, I mean, we do own these clothing, but it's just like, yeah, poserish, because like, we're not models or anything. We just like wanted to like do a little shoot together, and that was fun. So, yeah, if you guys want to check it out, it's on my Instagram. So, I recently went to the Fendi Mania event at New Bond in London, and um, yeah, it was a great night. I mean, I think this was a couple weeks ago now, though, but, um, anyways. This is one of the items that I got, and these are actually in the men's section. Um, both items I got this time at the event are both from the men's section. This is surprisingly also not the smallest size in the men's section. This is one up. I thought I would be the smallest size, but when I fit into these, my my booty helped it stay up, so that was nice. Um, unfortunately, this, this doesn't have like belts. Um, things on it, so I can't hook a belt on, which would have been perfect. I might still do and see like if I can just wrap a belt around and see how it works, but it fits anyway, and um, yeah, I'm gonna be bringing this on holiday with me, um, so I won't be wearing it till then. I do love the colors. I mean, it's very like mustard and ketchup, but you know, it's very like Fila kind of style, right? Um, it just has Fendi written all over it. And then the other thing I got at Fendi was this sweater, and I absolutely love this sweater so much. I've worn this so many times actually already. What I love about this sweater is pretty much the color. I think it's such an odd color combination. It's not something I would usually gravi gravitate towards, but I really like this. It's very comfortable. And I always say this, but I love looking in the men's section because they obviously have things that women can wear and um, vice versa. But also um, the price point is so different and this was a lot more affordable than um, something from the women's section. And I like this one more, so yay. 
Next is this really sweet cardigan that I got off of um, Outnet actually. So it had a really good sale on. Um, well, it had a really good price because it's Outnet and they always have things on sale. But this is by Missoni. And yeah, I haven't worn it yet, but I actually don't own a lot of cardigans. In the past, I just don't reach for cardigans a lot, I think. I'll either go for like a really big fluffy, like massive coat or um i don't know i just would wear two layers of a, like two layers like a heat tech and then like a jumper over and that's it so i never really gravitate towards cardigans but i thought i would get a cardigan for this season just because um they do come in handy for layering and stuff like that and um yeah i think these would be good for traveling as well just like something to snuggle up in and i just love the colors of this it's mostly like this ivory color but um it's got some really colorful sleeves which obviously i love and they're different on both sides and on the back, it just has a massive female symbol on it, um, which is just a female symbol. I don't know. I just like the color and pattern. I think this is like just such a perfect cardigan for London's, London's autumn time. Okay, so I'm seeing a slight pattern here because the next item I'm going to share is also from the men's section. But I just checked, and this is the last thing from the men's section that I got, so don't worry, guys. I did buy some women things. But I couldn't pass up this beautiful shirt. How stunning is this shirt? I absolutely love the colors. It was a bit pricey for a shirt, but I could not leave it. I think this is stunning. This looks like Cleopatra and Elvis kissing or making out. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is Cleopatra and Elvis kissing. Like, who else would these two be? You know what I mean? But, um, like I said, it is from the men's section. And I did get it in a small size I believe what size did I get this yeah so I got this in the small size and the colors are just so beautiful and striking and I cannot wait to style this this is gonna be so cool I know that they have this print on a couple other items or like different styles or maybe even colors I'm not sure but I was just obsessed with this I love the cosmic background I cannot wait to wear it again probably more on holiday than in London because it is cold <laughs> So I actually debated on sharing this next piece in this haul because it's more like a luxury haul but I love this dress so I thought I would share it in case anyone else loves it just as much as I do and it's by a brand called Rixo London. Um, they aren't like luxury or anything but um, I think they have really good price for their dresses. Um, they're just they're they're just kind of that upper street, um, upper high street kind of price point between like two to three hundred for like a dress or something. So I think that for like a special occasion, if there's like a really special dress that you see from them, I do recommend their dresses. They love um, they love like vintage style dresses basically. This one is the newest item that I got from them, and it is a velvet dress, and it's in that kimono style dress, and it's got the most beautiful. Um, sun pattern on it and some stars. My friend was actually saying that this dress is very like Uruguay flag inspired because you yeah, have the sun and the color of the dress so that's really cool. So yeah if you're looking for like a dress or something fancy to wear um, and you don't want to spend over like 500 on it I would go to Rixo because they have some really good stuff. Next we have another pair of pants and it is by Fiorucci. I own these pants in red and clear, and now I also own them in yellow. I freaking love these pants. These are so flattering. If you're brave, honestly, try these. Um, they are a bit out there. They are really tight, and it's really good for wintertime, actually, because it keeps you really, really warm. Like, I was sweating in these, um, having worn them for literally, like, a couple hours. I was like, oh my god, it's so hot. Um, so yeah, definitely good for, like, when it gets much colder. But yeah, they are really out there. They're super cool though, and I got lots of compliments when I wore this. I mean, it's vinyl, so it's not the most comfortable. Like, you do want this to be quite tight on you. You don't want it to be loose. I definitely could have gotten this in a size up. This is in a size 28. If I went a size up, this would be much more comfortable on me, and sitting and whatnot would be much more comfortable. But I kept it at the 28. I have all of my um, vinyl pants from Fiorucci for at this size, purely because um, I really love how it really sucks everything in and it shapes my booty really well and yeah your butt looks really good in these by the way and it, it like makes your legs look really nice etc so I just wanted everything to like be really well fitted so I went ahead and got with the 28 again also I have gained a little bit of weight so these are a little tighter than I remember them being but um, I definitely will be losing that weight because I'm not gonna let myself not fit into these pants <laughs> okay so next let's talk about this 
and it is H and Moschino. There was like a pre-sale thing um, that certain people were invited to and I'm so grateful that a friend was um, invited to it and he invited me along basically. And so I went to the kind of pre-sale thing which was really really cool. Um, and I got three items there basically. So I'm gonna share the three items that I got. I'll share my favorite one first, which is actually this. And you're like, what the heck is that one one? But it is the yellow like puffer skirt. I don't know the name of this, but it's a skirt and it's yellow and it's puffy and it's squidgy and I love it. And I cannot wait to wear this in snow. Um, it's not gonna keep me warm, but I think it would look really cute. And I can't wait. I love that these are real pockets by the way, both of them. And they like, they have a buckle to open and close and yeah the back is plain it's quite short and I got this in a size 36 and wait so I got this in a size 8 UK that's a bit different I usually get in a size 6 UK I think this will still fit it's all good and yeah I'm really excited to wear this so the next two items are really really similar actually and this one is the first one, it says Moschino on there, and it's got um, Mickey and Minnie on there, and I think it's super sweet, and they're looking so fabulous. It's very crinkled because I just shoved it in the bag, because if you have been to these events before, it's freaking hectic. It is hectic. People are pushing. People are giving zero, zero shits. I'm just really glad that I got my hands on this. Um, I love the print, and these two were... Um, these two were actually the things I wanted the most from the collection, so I'm glad that I got them. Um, I wanted to look at the bags though, because you know, these condom bags kind of look intriguing, but they were sold out like in the first second. People like really dash for them. I'm very much more of like, I'll just walk on there on the outside and see like what's available, and everyone's just like freaking like running in there. Like, I was a bit shocked at this pre sale, I won't lie. Um, I've been to many pre sales before, and this one was just like, I mean, it's HM. So it must have been wild, right? I don't know. I've not been to any of the other pre-sales for the other H&M collabs and stuff like that. So the last thing I got from the Moschino and H&M collection is this. And I got it in like freaking extra, extra, extra large or something. And it's going to probably be something for me to sleep in. It's just like pajamas or something. Um, we'll see. But again, it's got the same mini and Mickey actually. They have this in like Daffy Duck and like, ooh. And like all the other characters, but... I only really like Minnie and Mickey, so I just got the ones with me and Mickey on it. And I think I got the last one, um, that's why it's in like an freaking XO XO large. Um, but people were coming up to me asking if I was willing to give it up. And I was like, kind of like, the fact that so many people have asked me is like kind of the reason why I want to keep it. Because <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just like too many people asking and I'm like, okay, I'm actually going to keep it. Because like, I like it. And like, they're really, really reasonably priced. Um, they're H&M prices, so it's not Moschino prices, guys. I also almost just forgot, I saw in the bag, um, there's a little... Moschino lollipop. It's not little, it's massive. It's a strawberry fair lollipop, which I will probably never eat, but it looks very cute and I took it anyway. So there's that. So the next two items are actually from a sale that I went to um, last week and it's the Matches, a fashion sale. Um, I was very lucky that um, one of my friends messaged me in the early morning um, and told me that this was happening and told me to go check it out because there was some really cool stuff. So I went in, so I got two things and the first one is this one. And it is a Dolce & Gabbana blazer. And this is probably my best deal that I got um, at the sale. Because basically this retails for £2,400 in store. And I paid £480 for it. How freaking amazing is that deal, guys? Oh my god, I was literally like, wow. I, I find this just a really classic white suit. I've been really into like my boss, my lady boss suits lately. I mean, I've always been into them, so actually it's nothing new. I'm still into them. I just love a good freaking suit slash blazer. Um, it's like a little bee here, and I guess it's like palm, palm leaves, and it's nothing at the back. Mix up some fluff. <laughs> That's it. This is a type of blazer that's like casual enough for the daytime where you can just wear like a white tee and some denim and you're good to go. Or you can always dress it up at night with like um, a cocktail dress underneath or something. So, and then the next item that I got from the sale are actually a pair of Louboutins. So, um, these were 675 and I paid 337 So the deal is not as great as the, um, blazer but for that price I was still very willing to fork over. I'm not quite sure where I was at but I am pretty sure I was sharing these shoes. I love this massive pom-pom on this shoe. I think it's just like over the top and I think these are perfect for the festive season 
gold with red soles are just always perfect for the New Year's and of course Christmas and whatnot. And I love that this has a little strap, keeps things much more easier to walk in and much more comfortable. And yeah, here is the massive box. These are probably the only items I haven't unboxed, as you can see, because everything else I've shown. So in my previous haul, I shared two pairs of shoes that I really loved from Stuart Weidsman. Um, they are like my everyday kind of walking around airport shoes, and they still are. There's, they, I wear them so, so, so much, you don't even know. I wear one of them at least every day because I'll run out to the shops or something real quickly. So I wear those every day, but I also wanted a pair of comfortable walkabout shoes that were also quite stylish and like would you know, look good in outfits and stuff because they're not the most like photogenic shoes ever. They're just super comfortable. These, however, I'm hoping will have the comfort but also the style. I really like it and they have them in the low tops as well, but obviously I wanted the high tops. Um, the new season has the kind of see-through material with like the vintage Dior kind of logo on the inside. I almost ordered those. My friend Kyle has ordered them and I'm going to be so jealous when he gets it, but that's fine. I wanted to, to stick to these. They're much more low-key and chill and yeah, the bottoms look like that. It's pretty. Okay, guys, the last item I have to share is a bag, of course, knowing me. And it's a bag from Chanel. And I've shared this on my Instagram already. But for those who haven't seen, this is one of my newest additions. Um, I got this last month and I'm super, super happy with it. Obviously, the main reason I got this was because of the wood um, on it. I've never seen Chanel bag with wood detailings. Even the CC is on both of the sides here. It's like gold plaque with CCs and I think it's just what's holding everything together. The back has a leather pocket which is really sweet and the CC clasp um, functions the same as all the others. It's got three compartment spots so one... Ooh, well then, I guess I found one of my lipsticks. <laughs> um, so it's got a huge compartment here a really small thin compartment here if you can see maybe for some cards or some receipts and the back you have another little section here actually jokes there's like a, a zipper pocket as well at the very very back honestly I think I would have preferred if it was just like one big compartment just because it's already such a small bag having all these compartments I'm I'm not going to need to organize things in such a small bag. I only need compartments in bigger bags, if that makes sense. But um, it's always nice to have a bit more detail on the inside, I guess. The freaking wood, though. So cool. Okay, guys, that's everything I'm going to share in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be linking everything I can find down below, so hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want to catch up with me again. I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!